What is happening leprechauns? Welcome back. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about psychedelics and psychosis. Research that has gone into the two in the past, in the present and in the future. Jumping straight into it, a man that has pioneered research into psychedelics is Stanislav Grof. Stan Grof is a psychiatrist that used to work with LSD in Czechoslovakia in the 60s. From his book, When the Impossible Happens, there was a woman at his hospital that other doctors had tried every other means to cure her and failed. They came to Stan Grof being like, yo, can you help her? She's in serious need. And Stan Grof already had a lot of backlash with the use of psychedelics. So he did not want to work on this woman with psychosis. But he was like, you know what, I'll do it anyway. So he tried 10 sessions of LSD with this woman. Whenever this woman took the LSD and they did a psychotherapy session, she actually was normal while under the use of LSD. Whenever she went off the LSD, then she went back into a psychotic state and she believed that her and Stan Grof were in love. She imagined that they were in a relationship and in the psych ward, like, there was talks of her acting delusionally and irrationally. But whenever she took the LSD, she was in a normal state. And then on the 10th LSD session, she took the LSD and Stan Grof describes it as a demon was possessed inside of her and it came out and her face was gnawing and growling like and then a demon with a really deep low voice started saying to her like Stan Grof you cannot save her she is mine something along those words and Stan Grof like his psychotherapy knowledge has no understanding of how to deal with that so he used mythological knowledge that he had gained and he tried to visualize a white light coming out of himself and a white light coming out of her. Then the demon inside of this woman went away and she recovered from her psychosis successfully. This story, if you don't believe me, then check out Stanislav Grof when the impossible happens. Psychiatrists and psychologists will say that this story is not real, but why would he make this up? This research is very promising for the future of psychedelics. And psychedelics are being used predominantly in the US and in London for the treatment of depression. And there's loads of research going into it. It's actually one of the most funded projects or businesses in the world right now. Millionaires and billionaires are funding it flat out. Tim Ferriss funds a lot into John Hawkins University in the United States and Stephen Bartlett funds a psychedelic research company in London. And in fact, Joe Wick's dad has been experimented with psilocybin, which comes from shrooms. So the hope for psychedelics in the future is very promising. At the minute, I do not believe there's any research being done into psychedelics and psychosis. Aww. Probably the main reason for this is because of the minimal amount of people that actually have psychosis. It's estimated between one to 3% of people have psychosis or hear voices. And while, well, you know, depression, arguably like 50% of the Western world has or have or are experiencing depression. You know, the statistics are probably way higher than that. And a lot of people are probably just not talking about it. With depression, you know, there are societal values that need to be changed in order for depression to also change. Psychedelics, you know, it's not going to cure everyone. There are a lot of people that believe, you know, ayahuasca is the drug that will change their life and let them overcome any mental health episode that they have. But there are many stories of people going to the likes of Peru, taking ayahuasca with a shaman and then developing psychotic episodes, believing that they are the Messiah like Jesus and taking years to recover. A bit like myself with psychosis. Yeah! But 
the future is promising. Stan Groff, the psychiatrist who experimented with psychedelics and psychotherapy, because psychedelics then got banned, him and his late wife Christina actually created a breathwork called holotropic breathwork and this holotropic breathwork can create a psychedelic state for you to experience. I am planning on participating in a holotropic breathwork session whenever you know COVID restrictions are lifted. For any of you who are intrigued into participating in a holotropic breathwork session, be careful. I've not taken it. I'm not recommending it. A woman has messaged me recently saying that she has participated in four holotropic breathwork sessions and it actually resulted in her experiencing psychotic episodes. I hope the best for her and I hope the best for you. Please be careful with whatever you do and whatever you take. Good luck, leprechauns. A wee question for you, which I would love for you to answer in the comments. What psychedelic drugs have you taken? And what has your experience between psychedelics and psychosis been like? Thank you for listening, leprechauns. See you next Wednesday.